Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. My name is Abel Amachi, and I welcome you, beloved, to another edition of Daily Word. Today being May 25th, 2020. And our topic today is understanding the gospel of the kingdom. So before we begin, I would like us to make a brief prayer. Precious Holy Spirit, we thank you for another day like this. I will trust you that you will teach us your word. This is your word. It is not our word. For you are the spirit of truth. Please come guide us into all truth. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. I am so happy to share with you the topic which says understanding the gospel of the kingdom. And our text today is taken from the book of Jude 3 and 4, which says, Join me, brethren. It says, Beloved, when I give all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and assure you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto you. Verse 4. For there are certain men creeping on our way into the church of the Lord. To the condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ into lavishness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Understanding the gospel of the kingdom, we it is of a necessity, of a true necessity, that we come into reality the true kingdom message and what is the true kingdom message the true kingdom message is the gospel of our lord jesus christ which has been handed over us to us and men of no wise we have men are scripting on our ways and making our, the gospel of our lord jesus christ of non-effective even the power of our lord jesus christ that's why when the scripture said that certain men creeped in on our ways and they have come into the gospel, the, the church of our Lord Jesus Christ, making it of non effective. That's why many people they go to church, they are just like that, no change. They will go to church and you keep wondering, ah, this brother, for how long have you been in the church? No changes, no power. It's just, when I say powerless Christian. It's just like that. Why? Because this person has not come into the understanding of the true gospel of the kingdom. Hallelujah. We need to spend time with the scripture. Or do we think the scripture says in vain when it says, Study to show yourself approved. A workman needed not to be ashamed. But you rightly devising the word. If you really spend time with the scripture and you depend not on your own understanding, but depend on the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth. Of the truth, the Holy Spirit will come. He will over over you. The presence of the Holy Spirit will rest upon you. For you're not depending on your own understanding, but the understanding of the Spirit that giveth life and peace. So He will lead you because He's the Spirit of truth. Scripture says that, that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, He will guide us into all truth. Studying the scripture, not just studying because we were asked to study or let me just read two or three chapters. You study diligently. It is of a necessity that we study our scripture diligently. We make it of a most priority because there is no way we can come into truth if we don't study our scripture. The scripture is truth himself. The scripture is the word of God. The scripture is the word of life. It is able to build you into things that you don't even know that you'll be amazed when you come into them you'll be amazed for you don't know what might be the cause for you don't know that it is your diligence to the work of to the work of the lord and to the word of the lord not depending on your own understanding but on the understanding of the spirit when you read the scripture you wait upon the holy spirit he guides you into all truth. He brings life to you. He brings understanding. He gives you, he makes you of a quick understanding. You come into life and not just you, these things becomes your your daily life activity. You don't just live like just normal mere human being. 
but it becomes your reality. It's your life because it is the word of God. The word of God giveth life. It giveth life. It makes you live. You don't just live as a normal Christian, but you you live as a lifeful Christian. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The love, giving diligence to the word of the Lord is you studying your scripture. And by so doing, you come into the understanding of what the gospel is. The gospel of the kingdom is life. The gospel of the of our of our Lord Jesus Christ is love. It's love and it's life. It gives you life. I don't even know how else to put it, but it gives you life that life eternal. Hallelujah. So when certain men creeped into the, the church of our Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ, they bring gospel that are not of the kingdom. That's why many Christians they are not growing. It's just like they are just there for many years. They are not going. But when you come into life, when they bring this gospel of the kingdom into your spirit, you receive life. Your soul is awakened to the things of the Lord. You, you, you know what you are doing. You don't just do things because they ask you to do things. You don't just receive any message from anybody. But the spirit in you, Bear it with me. The spirit in you gives you more understanding, clearer understanding. You don't just receive the word and go back home and rest. But receiving the spirit of life brings life into your soul, awaken your spirit. Then you become life. And you can, by so doing, you can give life to men. You can give men, because they said, this, the, 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 you can give life to men, because the word of the Lord, what the Bible scripture said in John, John chapter 1, verse 5, I think so. When the teacher said, Hallelujah, join me, Reggie. Hallelujah. When scripture said in verse 5, okay, verse 5, said, And the light shines in darkness, and darkness comprehended not. Okay, this verse 8. Hallelujah. So the same came for a witness to bear witness. And, okay, that's what I want to see. Okay, verse 4, hallelujah. Scripture said, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. In him, Jesus Christ is life. And, in, and this life was the light of men. When we come into the understanding of the gospel of the kingdom, it is life on its own. We know the gospel of the kingdom, which is Christ. And who, or who is Christ? Christ is the life. Christ is the light. He comes into your life. He comes into your being. And it gives you light. And this light will shine. It will make a way for you. It will make paths for you. And men will see this light. They will not just say, I was happening. They will glorify your father in heaven. Because you've come to an understanding that, ah, that this understanding has not just come to stay, but has come to give light. It's by so doing, bringing men to the kingdom bringing men to the kingdom of our lord jesus christ hallelujah praise god hallelujah praise jesus so i want us to take this thing home even if we don't have anything to take home but take this one home we must really spend time with the scripture because therein in it is life therein in it is understanding Therein in it is all that we need as a believer, as a child of God, to grow in understanding. Understanding that you don't just come by motivational talks. Understanding don't come by, okay, you read books and motivational books. Someone is just motivating you from one place, telling you you can do this, you can do this. No, understanding is from the word of God. So the more time you spend with the scripture, the more time you depend on the Holy Spirit, the more time he overs over you, his presence rests on you, gives you supernatural understanding, gives you peace that passes all understanding. And you are most assured that, yes, you are walking in light. And you are most assured that nothing comes to you. No scriptures, no preaching. Yes, I know some men of God, they will just preach and preach. They preach to your body. They don't give words, words that will give your soul life but yes these people are set over us as our pastors our shepherds but yes what is your own work after hearing 
receiving so much hearing and so much listening what do you do at home do you just pick them home and you leave them or do you go home you study further spending time with the scriptures spending time with the spirit not giving your own understanding but relying on the spirit of life relying on the spirit of truth he will teach you all things giving you life and bringing all things to your understanding and these things will not just be there but they will become your reality the kingdom of the gospel will become your life it will become a light for others to follow they will it will bring men you will even be wondering how come how come i'm not how come am i doing this how come but you don't know it is you your own work study to show yourself approved yes depending on the word of god give diligent to it give diligence to it you don't read the gospel the, the, the bible you don't read the scripture just one novel or one book but giving diligence to it and giving depending on the holy spirit for it's the spirit of truth that will bring us into all truth hallelujah i want us to say this prayer and the holy spirit will teach us more and give us grace to depend on him to depend on his revelation most times we read the scriptures we don't come into life we don't see anything but most times we are so lazy to even pick up our bible to read but i want us right now be sincere in your heart be ready make up your mind that yes you will study the scripture and depend on the holy spirit i want us to pray that the holy spirit will give us grace to re to rely on him and by so doing it, he will give us revelation let's pray our father we thank you we pray this precious holy spirit that you give us more grace more grace to rely on you you will help us to be diligent in this world we will study a workman needed not to be ashamed but we will study so that we will come into the revelation which thou has made for us hallelujah thank you precious holy spirit in jesus name we pray amen thank you beloved and god bless you